Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and as well Aries Rising, a multi reading November 2019, and bear with me just a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards, and uh, we are to jump right into it. So the first card, which represents the topic of uh, the month for you, Aries, this is going to be the Tower card, followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the month. This is going to be the Six of Cups, followed by the third card, which stands for the best intentions that you can have throughout the month, or, you know, that could be also counted as the most positive actions you can take. In this month, that will be the uh, Lover's card. The fourth one uh, represents the lesson that you are to learn throughout the month, or in other words, why this is all happening. That is to be the Queen of Cups. And the last one here, which stands for the uh, positive energies or energies which are to support you throughout the month and giving you strength there, uh, that will be uh, the Lust card, or in other words, the Strength card. <clears throat> All right, so before we go into uh, the reading and pick the cards one by one, let's run them down one more time. So we do have the tower, which stands for the topic, followed by the challenges here. That is going to be the six of cups. Afterwards, we do have the lover's card, which stands for the <clears throat> positive intentions you can have in the month. The, third, the fourth one is going to be about the lesson that you are to learn throughout this month or, you know, why this is all happening here. That is to be the Queen of Cups. And the last one, which is the Strength card or in this deck, the Lust card, that is to be the uh, positive energies that are to support you. All right, so we do have the Tower card as a topic and is going to be catalyzed here by the Five of Cups. So the month itself is not going to be very pleasant from a standpoint of, you know, being quiet and being calm and you having a, a time of respite. Now, as a, an active enemy, these two cards are um, pointing towards your determination. Um, how do I say it in English? So your determination <clears throat> to... Um, and in generally, to it's not even about denying failure. It is more about compensating for a certain a loss or a disappointment that you had recently in your uh, life, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. And what that moment points, it is that most likely you are going to pick up yourself together or rather like you're going to pick up the pieces that have that have been left broken from the disappointment or from the um 
loss that you have experienced recently and with those pieces it does look like that you will opt for a rebuilding back your life or rebuilding back your personal relationship life you know or a your career life as well should that loss be being fired from from the job losing the promotion you know or losing your um the place where you stand now important thing to be acknowledged is that this time around with uh with that combination it does look like that you are to um rebuild you know whatever you have lost or you have disappointed from a much more solid let's say or the word that i was searching for was a reliable so you're going to make it much more reliable and although the whole process may have um somewhat unpleasant symptoms at the end the tower always leads you to a nurturing and growing effect so you can accept it as a transformation of yourself that is not just of your relationship life not just of your career life but of yourself as well and as we said that the loss or the disappointment is a temporary one it's not something permanent you can definitely uh can live without it so probably this is going to be a huge portion as well of the transformation itself that you are to recognize and understand you know that the world doesn't end with it and the best is yet to come probably or not only that the best is yet to come but also that should you take your life into your own hands you can provoke even a, a better future for yourself even a, a better perspective for yourself so uh the the um challenges here is going to be the six of cups and is going to be catalyzed here by the uh prince of wands or ak the knight of wands into the traditional tarot deck so these two cards really speaks about a lack of enthusiasm in a sense of that even though you may want to kind of be active throughout the month, you know, and, and for example, go out, spend time with friends or go into cinema or just enjoy your stuff the way you have enjoyed it back in the days before you had experienced your loss, uh, you may not find that usual glee or like i said an enthusiasm to do it so um, those activities that previously uh made you either happy or uh, they how do you say it in english they um these activities exhilarated you now they are gonna seem a little bit on the great side of the spectrum of the grain uh, gray side of the spectrum and you may not kind of have the um the determination to to do them at all so you may fall into liturgy or lethargy lethargia yeah lethargy all right and that is the challenge not to allow yourself to fall into this bottomless abyss but instead even though you may not feel like going out with friends even though you may not feel like talking with someone it will be good to overcome this uh, certain barrier of yourself you know to push yourself a little bit for uh, a little bit more hard to um to be more so um to be to to enter into a more social circles or to to be more social person let's say that way and to try to regain back the joy of life and to regain back the uh, exhilaration of doing the things you uh you like to do <clears throat> And we're talking about the old hobbies. It's not like you will have to find a new inspiration. You can find your inspiration into the old stuff back in the days that you have been uh, doing to, to make yourself feeling better in general. So uh, the next card here, it will be in regards to uh, the intentions. That's the, the most positive intentions that you can have throughout the month. That is going to be the lovers and it is accompanied with the um, Ten of Swords here. So we do have an inactive supporters and it's pretty clear that these cards are pointing to a new era into one's life. So the transformation is going to be quite drastic with these cards that we see. And what they, they point, it is that something is holding you back um, in your past. Maybe you feel like uh, if we're talking about a breakup, maybe you feel like there is something unfinished, all right? And you can't have your closure. And with these two cards, the Lovers and the Ten of Swords, this uh, limitation or rather like this sense 
uh, of uh, that something is holding you back, is tiding you to the uh, to the previous endeavor, uh, which you had experienced disappointment or a loss in regards. Uh, it's just the they they appear as a, a limitation or obstructions, and it is you that are imposing those limitations or obstructions. So uh, that being said, uh, the in intentional wise here you need to have that. Um, determination i would say to uh to burn bridges with the past and as well to make any um a, a decisions very um hard decisions or tough calls which are gonna close or rather slam the door um the door from the past experiences and are gonna open a door toward a new dawn and toward a new experiences so uh here with those two cards we can identify that the lack of enthusiasm and the lack of eager to uh enjoy life it is mainly caused by the memories that you are evoking from the uh, previous disappointments and you have to simply forget about them and how you can do so is uh, by uh, with these two cards for example by flirting with new people you know or by, by just you know spending time with people that you can experience these harmoniously flowing relationships with them as well it's uh, very important here with these two cards to be said that many problems that you are having right now are also a problems that are tied to your past and that is another reason why you should break with your past as well and as soon as you do so those problems will either solve on their own accord or they will no longer be something that you have to concern yourself with the other card it's in regards to the uh, lesson that you need to learn that is going to be the queen of cups and it's accompanied here or it's catalyzed by the five of pentacles so we do have a passive uh, supporters in uh, passive friends excuse me into this uh, position and the lesson is to get into to become in tune to become aligned with the feelings of your heart and when you follow the feelings of your heart it's very uh, likely that you are to find yourself transformed and transcended as well so it's all about that and you cannot enforce for example, someone to love you and as you love that person that doesn't love you, obviously you are not going to feel good. So it's all about following your feelings and not your emotions. That is something that you need to discern here. Uh, with the five of pentacles, it does look like that that uh, month is all about strengthening your uh, states of feeling, right? And strengthening your, um, I would say, clamor for that from now on um you areas are to have more pleasant experiences rather than a poignant experiences and it is also a, a month meant for you to understand that if that you have to strain from those situations and from those people that does not want you there no matter how much you try to bruise yourself into it even if you are succeed you still are going to feel miserable and so for that you have to seek your happiness into the places that people or situations wants you there additionally to that um <clears throat> the lesson that you, another lesson that you need to learn here is uh, being discreet very important and as well attending to the plights that you are experiencing or paying attention to yourself more than um uh, than before do not neglect your needs that's uh, that's the whole point and the, the the primary need that i see here it is just to traverse this uh this threshold you have set for yourself from uh the past and the future so you gotta embark the future and leave the past where it belongs behind your back and the last card is uh, regards to the uh energies that are to support you throughout the cycle that is going to be the strength or the lust card and it is accompanied here or catalyzed by the high priestess so strength wise it it speaks for a, a very strong will or rather like in an iron will regardless of what kind of an, an emotional attachment you do have with the previous situations or with people 
you alone are going to start recognizing that you don't have anything to gain from it any longer and therefore you don't have to convince yourself um, to, I don't know how to say it, to a big extent maybe it is the right way to say it. So yeah, you know these situations where you, people are trying to convince themselves that it's better to do one thing over another. Well, you will not have to convince yourself for long that you have to do the right thing. So these are the energies that uh, your uh, build up of a, uh, of a strong and iron will and determination will help you to make the right decision eventually. But the sooner you make it, the better. So that being said, there is this was your monthly tarot reading November 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.